I remembered how to trigger the trades! See, Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! So in order to get him to do the other two trades, we've gotta go to another club, like say the rock club. See, there's a person by the plant here. Oh, excuse me, did you hear? Everyone's saying that Ishihara wishes to trade a very rare card. Maybe you should go visit him. And another trade has been triggered. But there are other places that you can actually trigger a trade, such as going over to the Science Club. And <laughs> and going over here to this lad here, um, um, Ishihara wants to trade another very rare card. I wish you could trade cards like Ishihara. So, I'm, I'm not gonna battle Imakuni as tempting as it may be. <laughs> because I got other people to show here. And this person by the PC here, my friend Ishihara, owns really rare cards. Why don't you go visit him sometime? So that's the other trade trigger, apparently. <laughs> but anyway... There's enough trade triggers to get Ishihara to trade another card, so here we go. Hello, Mark. I suppose you're here because you heard that I was looking for a ditto this time. I'm thinking about trading my flying Pikachu for one. Do you have a ditto? Why, yes, I have a ditto. Here you go. Woo! Or should I say, because that card is evil. <laughs> you know flying Pikachu by now, I'm sure. Alright, you are welcome. So, no trades, huh? Which means... We gotta go to another club. Well, actually, it's pretty much the same clubs as before, so what I'm gonna do here is just go over to the Rock Club only this time, and chat it up. No new news, what? 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 That's impossible. This is crazy. Hold on, I'm gonna save and quit. Let's try this again! Oh, excuse me, did you hear? There we go, yeah, I guess you had to turn off the game to be able to trigger it. Similar to resetting Imakuni's position kind of thing, that's what I suspected. Um, now, this third trade only appears after you beat the Grandmasters, so... Yeah, this is true post-game content, just like the challenge machine. Uh-huh, I really am! Looking for a Chansey this time. I'm thinking about trading my Surfing Pikachu for it. This one has a different illustration than the last one. Do you have a Chansey? Uh-huh! Uh-huh! Here we go! The final card! There it is! Woo! I now have every card in the game! Oh yeah! Thank you for this Chansey, you've been a great help. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Now, hold on a second, I just want to go back in here. And, oh, he's still there, really? Uh, okay, I want to do one more thing here. I'm back at the Rock Club here. It seems Ishihara left on a trip in search of a rare card. They say he's not coming back for a while. So, if we go back here... He will be gone, and you will never see him again. Yep. Yep, but Ronald's here. Ronald has taken over Ishihara's house. <laughs> Basically, um, remember that phantom and illusion card thing? Well, here, take a listen to this. It is rumored that there is a phantom card, well, actually there's two, that can only be gotten by using card pop. It is believed that there are two such cards, but no one knows what kinds of cards there are. I'm off to search for someone who will give me these cards, Ishihara. Yep, so that's where he went off to. Supposedly, but the uh, phantom cards, as I said, maybe called illusion cards in other versions of the game. I don't know, but yeah, they're called phantom cards here. <laughs> All right, now the last thing that I'm going to be doing in this walkthrough is the challenge machine. I'm going to be doing it with the mysterious Pokemon deck that you've seen from before. Uh, just for the sake of showing you the deck, I guess, to its fullest, you could say. So, yeah, I'm not gonna make any modifications to it, or whatnot, I'm just gonna delve right into the machine, and see what we get here. So, it looks like Dr. Mason won only one game total. It's kind of weird. I mean, <laughs> I would think that he would have t tested it a little more thoroughly, or maybe he's not a very skilled player. But anyway, let's play it. Let's see what we get here. Uh, typically, the first three 
I should say always, the first three are just regular club masters, and the fourth one is always a club master. I mean, first three club members, uh, the fourth is a club master, but the fifth is typically a grandmaster. However, you may get a surprise opponent, uh, either Eren or Imakuni. So, yeah. I would most certainly like to bang begin the duel here, and oh god, he's got the deck that nearly destroyed me. <laughs> But let's see what I can do here. I don't... Like, you can play through this machine infinitely. But I'm just gonna see if I can get as far as I... Like, up to, up to it 5 at the most, we'll say. And uh, this is kind of a iffy hand here. But I'll start with the special Mew. Just for the sake of it being a special Mew. And we'll see how the game goes. But anyway, as I was saying... Um, I, I'm not gonna continue my streak because... I should say up to a certain point because it can literally go on infinitely. This challenge machine is only for the bragging rights, basically. And uh, why didn't I play Bill? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I, okay, I'm playing it now and I'm ending my turn now. <laughs> I should always play Bill first before setting stuff. Just to see what cards I could potentially get and... He has already destroyed me! <laughs> yeah, his deck is relatively solid, I have to say. Um, Mr. Mime's gonna be kind of useless against uh, Machop there, because of the whole low kick thing. But when I'll be able to start healing, I'll be able to stall a little bit more. But he's already powering up bench Pokémon, and he's causing me ire like no one has ever caused me ire before for some reason. I mean, this guy is giving me more issues than the Grandmasters have given me. <laughs> It's crazy if you think about it that way. <laughs> I guess it's because his deck is more meta game centric, and that it's you know a lot of basic Pokemon with uh, uh, those funny damage attack sorts of things. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, I suppose try and attack a little bit more here while I have the opportunity. <laughs> Even though it's gonna get knocked out next turn anyway, and I don't really have a spare basic Pokémon, so chances are I'm gonna lose this game! Especially since it's gonna be ahead two prize cards now, and I can't really get anything set up against them at the moment. The Mysterious Pokémon deck isn't the most powerful deck, as I said before, so I'm not super, super sad about losing if I lose. <laughs> because, you know, it's just that sort of deck. The deck is mainly made to demo the kinds of special rare cards more than anything. But I'm gonna be able to knock out Machop here, but then he's just gonna counter and knock out Mr. Mime with something else. And then my streak is going to go to z Wait, why did he put out Meowth? Is it because of the resistance to Psychic? Because he's got a hit- well, actually- well, no, actually, come to think of it, Meowth is the only thing he could have attacked with, so maybe I have a chance! Oh my god, this is crazy! But I can't really attack with Mr. Mime, because it won't do any damage because of the resistance. Well, I can attack, but... Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Everything's just gonna do, do zero damage, and he's gonna be able to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I lose. <laughs> Maybe that's why Dr. Mason only had a one-win streak, because he came across this guy <laughs> in the second round. <laughs> I'll just try that challenge machine again. No big deal. So, yeah, my streak is at zero. <laughs> I was bested by Dr. Mason. <laughs> uh, wait, Chris again? Are you serious? Really? Really? Oh! <laughs> well, okay, let's have the rematch that I'm probably gonna lose at. Oh, Mr. Mime. Not good against the 20 damage Pokemon. <laughs> Especially when not combined with Alakazam. Ah! Oh. Oh, Hitmonlee. Well, Hitmonlee can't do any damage to uh, Mr. Mime anyway, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, you could be handy for future... Oh, oh, shoot, maybe I shouldn't have set that now. Hitmonlee is just gonna stretch kick that poor thing. <laughs> That's right! Oh, oh, oh. Well, we'll see how things go, I guess. Because he tends to have a lot of fighting energy. He's got a lot of copies in his deck. So, yeah, oh, poor Mew. Poor, poor Mew. Anyway, I'm gonna attach that to Mr. Mime, and I'm probably best off Professor Oaking now, even though I got that Alakazam. 
because I'm once again in a tight spot. <laughs> Just how things work with him, I suppose. I might as well throw out that other bench Pokemon down there in case I get something a little bit later on and just meditate. 20 damage weakness, which is nice, but psychic Pokemon in this deck do not fare well against this fighting Pokemon all that much, so weaknesses and resistances really aren't everything. And yeah, I figured he would attack that Mew just to grab a prize card. That's all right. Okay, I got Bulbasaur, which means I'll be trying to evolve it to Ivysaur, of course, and this will knock out Hitmonlee because of the accumulated damage of Meditate. Oh yeah! See, it does 10 damage plus 10 more for every damage counter, so that's 30 times 2 equals 60. Ah, Pokemon Breeder, that might be nice, potentially. Uh, Tauros, that could be bad, potentially, because I can't really do damage to its Psychic resistance but I can switch over the Ivysaur a little bit later on. Uh, so I'm just gonna hold off now and hope that if it does attack, Invisible Wall will block it. Uh, that's, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> I'm just gonna be retreating anyway. So, yes, I want you to get heads this time. Oh, well, I want him to get heads is because if he got heads, he would have did zero instead of 20. Because anything over 20 will do zero to Mr. Mime because of its Pokemon power. Alright, let's retreat to Ivysaur. And I'm tempted to the Pokemon Center, uh, that Mr. Mime there, but maybe I'll hold off on that. Uh, I think I'll do a Poison Powder because it's guaranteed the Poison, that might force him to switch. Maybe? We're gonna see? Yeah, the Mysterious Pokemon deck is pretty slow, which does not fare well against the game's metagame. But, you know, since it's the rare deck of sorts, it is something that uh, you might want to try using just for the fun of it. Then again, all decks are made just for the fun of it, if you think about it. Um, let's just Poison Powder again. Yahoo! And maybe I stand the chance at winning this one, because he's already got my Ivysaur Weaken here. And Pokemon- oh no! The Surprise Plus Power again. <laughs> this guy! Is the bane of this deck's existence. Um, I guess I'll put out Mr. Mime to stall, even though I won't really help all that much. Um, what I want to do here is plop that down there and try and do some damage with uh, Bulbasaur. And maybe I should Pokemon Center just to stall. Pokemon Center heals everything that has damage counters on it, but removes energy cards from those Pokemon. Since Mr. Mime doesn't have any energy cards, I don't lose any energy cards. <laughs> So that's why I figure it'd be a decent one-turn stall of sorts. Uh, actually, I should attach this to Kadabra and get that powered up, because maybe I'll be able to attack with the Super Psy Shock if I'm lucky. Maybe. Uh, but first, I'm gonna do a Bulbasaur here, and I got another Kadabra. Dang it! <laughs> and I should most certainly Leech Seed to sort of put pressure on him a little bit. Maybe he'll decide to switch, but I doubt it. He'll probably have a plus power on the next turn. <laughs> we, we are going to see. Oh, there's Bill. That might get me the psychic energy that I need. It did not. <laughs> I am having the worst luck I could possibly have against Chris in these last two games. <laughs> well, that's how the Pokemon trading card game goes sometimes. I wonder if I should just go to the Rain Dance deck and... Uh, Pummel him, because <laughs> I'm not even going to be able to show the old, uh, um, yeah, and I got to switch too, by the way, and I won't even be able to show the, uh, Alakazam and Mr. Mime strategy, because I'm having issues <laughs> just getting this out in general, uh, against him, and I can't even recover, by the way, because recover takes two psychic, so, yeah, <laughs> oh no, oh no, he's got a macho, no. That is going to destroy Kadabra once I'm finally able to destroy uh, Machop. So yeah, I'm gonna end up losing this game as well. <laughs> so yeah, I just might switch over to the Rain DDR deck. Oh wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are you doing a Meowth there? Are you just doing that to power up Machoke on the sidelines? Maybe? Perhaps? Well, I can do 20 damage to it per turn, I guess. Um, um, 
Uh, I guess I'll get that powered up and super Yeah, but he's inevitably going to switch to Machoke, and I am going to die. <laughs> Although, he is the muscles for brains guy, so maybe he won't. <laughs> you never know. Uh, actually, maybe I should have gotten a uh, another Kadabra powered up there, but I'm not sure, really. Um, because he's just gonna... Okay, I win somehow. So he is just playing stupid again. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't have any energy, I don't know. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised by that. And there's a Mr. Mime. <laughs> no Alakazam, Mr. Mime, late. It was kind of a disaster. <laughs> but let's keep going here. John has got the anger deck, if I recall correctly. And we are going to see if this deck will fare because I got Bulbasaur. <laughs> well, I got a build too, but you know, if he gets something that can do a lot of damage quickly... Uh-oh, that could be bad! <laughs> Tauros is kind of a powerful basic there in uh, this build? Hmm... Okay, I got Pokemon Breeder and kind of nothing else. <laughs> Hmm, should I power up Abra or should I power up Bulbasaur? Probably Bulbasaur because Tauros has the resistance to Psychic. And man, you know, it's like the decks are perfectly stacked against my mysterious Pokemon deck, which isn't really my deck because it's not my build, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, I'll be able to potentially one turn stall here. If he gets a Tails coin flip, yeah, I'm, I'm relying on coin flips. Of all things. <laughs> uh, rampage... Or not. Because he's got that extra energy card, so bye-bye, Bulbasaur. Oh, so it didn't even have the chance of a coin flip. <laughs> and look at this, look at this. I don't have any basics. I can try to paral uh, the paralysis check, but... You know, that's still a coin flip I'm relying on. <laughs> but it's better than nothing? I guess. Uh oh, computer search. Well, you probably search for something of doom. <laughs> yeah, for uh, the mysterious Pokemon deck having a ton of rare cards, it certainly is not the most effective deck. <laughs> I thought I'd just use it for fun. And I'm gonna try for the paralysis again. Uh, I, I don't know, actually. I probably should, because Kadabra's gonna be knocked out in two turns anyway. So, ah, uh, it's over. <laughs> oh, 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 I couldn't even beat Mason Streak. The challenge machine truly is challenging, at least for the mysterious Pokemon deck. <laughs> and yeah, bye bye. Oh well, it isn't. It isn't like upping their AI, AI or their deck or anything like that. They just play with their regular decks. Uh. Just not really the best deck. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, well, I don't know. Should I even re battle him? Because you got the idea of the challenge machine. Like, should I go through the challenge machine or not in an extra part or something like that? I'm thinking so, just for kicks. So, even though that this could be the last part, I don't think it's going to be the last part. Because I think I'm gonna try and go through the challenge machine to at least a five streak. Just for kicks. So, yeah, I don't know why I'm going down that column there. <laughs> um, what I might do here is uh, modify the Rain DDR deck to be in a more powerful form, I guess you could say. Potentially, maybe. Maybe I'll be able to get some more Lapras cards too. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I give this challenge machine an honest to goodness try.